Hi everyone, Lady Bachar Angela here with another face up video for you. And this one is for a doll in mine primrose. So, like always, I've already gotten started. And here's just what I've started with it's the third layer. And I did start off with red lips, but it was just a little too cliche, and the red actually clashed with the cooler color palette that I was going for. So I had talked to Libby, who is Wino and the G Word, here on YouTube, and she this is her doll, and she commissioned me to uh, do this face up, and. She said she wanted her to be kind of an angry, cute little vampire girl. So here I am. I've started sketching in the eyebrows and I can already kind of tell that it's just not going to look good just because of the fact that the, the sculpt itself is not lending itself to have very angry or stern eyebrows. <laughs> As you see here, I did try uh, a couple times. Um, I cut out a couple as well, just because it, it just was not working out. So I talked to Libby about it, and I told her, I said, these are just not, you know, working out for me. I don't know if it's just my own sketch that's not working, or if you have a reference photo, but like the sculpt itself is not lending itself to have these shaped eyebrows because the sculpt has such prominent brows in the actual mold that it just was not looking good whatsoever. Um, the eyebrows were either way too high, away from the eyes, or it just, it looked not good <laughs> it really just did not how i was doing them it did not look good for the, the actual sculpt and the face for this girl so we discussed it and we found that um going a lot lighter with the eyebrows uh is probably the way to go so i did a soft lilac and very simple uh eyebrows almost non-existent um but I think that works out so much better with the face up of being a vampire uh, for this girl. So black was probably a bit too harsh. So I didn't even put black for the eyeliner. I put <laughs> purple. I put a dark purple and I put some purple um, eyeshadow as well. And I used purples and blues uh, for the... Uh, basically the undertones of the, of the face and then I also used instead of blue veins I put purple veins on the side of her head and around her nose uh, I did blue as well so I think it lends itself pretty well for for a vampire girl so she's very cute I really like her coloring and how she turned out and here I am I'm just glossing everything and uh, then I will be putting in her eyes that she came with and she will be finished. I will be working on the next one here in the next few days and it is called a Meek Stall Laszlo and I, I'm really excited for him because he's going to be kind of a surprise so I won't put out his video until she actually gets him back. So uh, hopefully that's within the next few days. I'm going to be working on him, so hopefully by, by the end of next week, um, Libby will have all her, her resin babies back. So thank you guys for watching, and I will leave you to it.